having just completed uh, replacing the timing chain and all other uh, timing chain components. Now we're going to walk through the uh, uh, valve positions on entire engine uh, cycle, four-stroke cycle on cylinder one, and um, look at the look hard at the valve positions and the cam positions, gear positions. Okay, here's my indicator of uh, piston position in the cylinder. The lower one would be piston at top dead center. The longer one is going to be piston at bottom. Okay, spark plugs out. Our little, our little indicator is in. So there's the indication that the piston's at the top. And then our lower mark is lined up with the top of the well for the spark plug. Okay, we've got the crankshaft at 12 o'clock, straight up. That white mark indicates the uh, 12 o'clock. I have this uh, on here. I have the uh, balancer on here to make it easier to hand rotate this. And we're going to stop every 180 degrees and look at the position of the uh, lobes on the cams for cylinder one. We'll be making two complete revolutions, basically 720 degrees. In case you don't know, this is a camshaft lobe. In one 360 degree revolution of the camshaft, this will open a valve for a given cylinder just one time. So the exhaust on the exhaust cam on cylinder one, it's just come off the exhaust valve. The exhaust valve is closed and the actual cam is sitting at, the lobe is at about 7 o'clock. The intake side, you can see it down in here. It's approaching now. Always oh, moving clockwise. It's approaching the valve at about five o'clock. Okay, this is the um, timing position. It is uh, end of stroke exhaust. So it's top dead center, end of exhaust stroke. So what's coming up next is intake. You want to rotate this in a clockwise direction. So you can take a close look now as the piston goes down. The lobe on the cam depresses the intake valve and continues to go down. There it goes. And we're down. And the lobe is off of the valve. It's now closed. So there's the exhaust cam at about 9.30. Just all the way down. Intake cam. The valve now closed and sitting at about 7 o'clock. End of intake. There's our crankshaft at um, 6 o'clock. 180 degrees it turned. Okay, so we just completed the intake stroke. The intake valve popped open, allowed the uh, charge to come in, the fuel air mixture, and then closed. And now it's sitting at the bottom. The next stroke would be compression. And there we are at top of compression and the lobe on our exhaust cam. It's about 12.30 or 1 o'clock. And on our intake cam, it's at about 11 o'clock, 11.30. So both valves, sets of valves are closed and we're at the top of the compression stroke. Our crank is completed a 360 degree rotation back at 12 o'clock. Okay, we're going to go down now between 360 and 540 degrees. This is the power stroke where the fuel charge gets ignited. And uh, so let's go on down. Okay, now we're sitting at one and a half revolutions of the crankshaft. And our exhaust cam has now rotated 
approximately 5 o'clock position approaching the exhaust valve and our intake cam sitting at approximately 232. Okay, we're at 540 degrees from where we started, one and a half revolutions of the crankshaft. Okay, the piston's down and we're moving into the exhaust stroke and the piston's coming up. And you can see the exhaust valve opening up. And end of exhaust stroke. Back where we started, 720 degrees later, or two revolutions, 12 o'clock position. The exhaust cam is back over here. It's tough to see it, uh, the light here. But it's, um, it's back at about the 7 o'clock position again where we started. And the other cam, intake cam, back about 5. Also note that the timing positions on the cams, the diamonds, are back at 2 o'clock on the intake and 10 o'clock on the exhaust. So we've gone through a complete engine cycle, all four strokes we've looked at, and we're back where we started. Okay, we're back where we started with the cams at 10 and 2, and all's well with the engine timing now. We're ready to put it back together. Thanks for watching.